It's, uh, I think it's $114 billion that's oh, yeah. being taken out of the Medicare Advantage program, and that's a real outrage for many of your listeners out there who uh, 20% of the Medicare population um, have purchased Medicare Advantage. It's Medicare Advantage, for those who may not know, is a private option that you can take um, and opt out of Medicare, basically, and the government puts the dollars that you would otherwise have to um, have, have used in Medicare uh, on average, and they give it to an insurance company. The insurance company then is able to provide better benefits. Medicare, for example, has a limit uh, with the, their lifetime uh, pool of 150 days in the hospital. Well, Medicare Advantage has 365 days in the hospital, and it typically doesn't cost you any more to get that. Well, how does the private market do that? Well, there's a couple of ways. One, there's so much waste, fraud, and abuse in the Medicare program, if you take the dollars and give it to a private insurance company that actually has an audit team that goes out and has uh, negotiated relationships with physicians, even though they typically have to pay the physicians a little bit more than what Medicare does, that gives you more choices of physicians that will participate in that network so you have better options for your primary care physician or specialist who will accept the, the greater dollar amounts. But you also then... Uh, by having that, you have dollars that you can save from uh, the government program and actually put into increased benefits. Now, there is, there is a provision in the uh, Medicare Advantage that um, in order to encourage that marketplace to grow uh, when they in implemented that legislation a number of years ago, they, they add an extra 14% to the average cost when they give the dollars to the insurance company. So that 14% that goes into added benefits. You may not have any deductible on your hospital. You may have no deductible on your Part B physician services, and you may have uh, a good part of your, uh, your prescription drug donut covered, for example. Um, that boost, if you will, to the private market uh, should be allowed to continue for a few more years and then probably phase out. That would be fair because as the insurance industry grows and has enough business and volume, they can do an even better job of providing these uh, stronger benefits than what Medicare provides. And they get more population in, so it makes it more viable. But again, what's happening is, and I don't know how in the world the Democrats have gotten away with this, they are killing that program. They are taking away uh, substantial benefits from 20% of the Medicare population, in addition to Another $400 billion that they're taking out of regular Medicare, that means doctors are going to get paid less. Most people don't know that there's a whole lot more coming after this section. The doctors are going to have a reduction in their Medicare reimbursements of 21.5% unless when Congress comes back they have another health care bill. So you've got a president that's going to be delivered in January of another 250 to $300 billion dollars uh, to fix the, um, the physician problem that's otherwise going to cut their fees dramatically.